fans going on when it starts charging. That always means the show goes on. I think he forgot his cable. Okay, 93%, that brings me to van easily and I have to charge there anyways in order to get to the border. I don't need to charge full now. Goodbye. And yeah, obviously I could have also charged last night by myself, but part of the reason I, I didn't is I want to bring you guys along for the whole thing, you know? I, I like you know, showing you how I charge and what I do. Do that quickly here. Nobody saw that. <sighs> yeah, it's just, I, I just like it better that way. Instead of charging when I'm not intending to film. That way you're part of the whole thing. In uh, Iran, there's not gonna be any charging stations, like, or at least not many. I heard of a list of charging stations there. Someone in the comments just said that. Maybe I'll find some. Let's see, we'll find out together. Let's go to Van. Guys, Lake Van. I don't know much about it, but it is probably the biggest one here in Turkey. Cool. In the comments of my last video, people asked me about, you know, wouldn't it make a difference if you would have a windshield or when you put your bag in a different position, like, you know, like this way instead of this way wouldn't it make a difference for the range and I can only tell you this this is the only the only thing that really makes a difference going behind a truck really reduces the wind resistance you, you know, I mean you can feel it on any bike when you go behind a truck there's literally not much wind resistance because the truck takes it all away but a windshield or you know anything else doesn't really make a difference. If it would be the case, that would mean that the other models, like models with the windscreen, like the adventure bike that, that they offer, or the like um, the sport touring version with the windshield and with the fairing, that would mean that those bikes would get a much higher range, which isn't the case. In fact, a windshield would ruin the look. Okay, but now the truck is going way too slow. But in my opinion, I would, ruin the whole look of the bike i think windshields are like super ugly that's why i don't have one but yeah as you can see now the watt hours per kilometers going up way much i mean we're also going up uh, the mountain now but you can literally hear it now in the microphone so yeah trucks trucks is the only thing that makes a difference but that's just my experience all right onwards into the mountains out guys how about that zoom it's like an old uh, church on an island I don't think the boats go today anytime soon let's go Eve yeah, okay yeah Markus yeah also viel Spaß euch Dankeschön, tschüss! She's from Berlin. Okay, I'm in van now. Uh, right at the airport somewhere. And there's a charger. Right over there. I'm gonna charge up here. And then I also have to figure out... Oh, I think I have to go... 
here. I have to get out some more cash and exchange it somewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, I charged a proper full because this was probably the last charging station I'm going to be seeing in a, a quite a while. Definitely have to charge tonight at the hotel somehow. Uh, let's see if we can make that happen. What is this with the bees here? Man versus bee. Now I have to sort out this money situation to change the Turkish lira to euro. Go in the city for that. Not looking forward to it. Go to the exchange bureau now. Euro. Euro, yeah. Should be all good now for a month. Yeah, yeah. There were also ATMs with dollar and euro, but that didn't work for some reason. I tried quite a few today. Anyways. So glad now we can get out of the city again. Oh man, gotta love the city, really. Almost out. <sighs> when I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no We went up to 2,300 meters again and look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about it too. And a great road too. I wonder where are you now? Man, I'm so glad. I'm out of the city now. I think that's only like a little taste of what's to come in Iran. It's going to be fun for sure, it's going to be fun. When I was in Georgia, I binge watched uh, A Million Dollar Bogan. Great channel, you should totally check it out. This guy always wanders off, you know, off, off the road and you know, like, I mean, he's doing crazy stuff. Like he would most likely try and climb up that, that mountain over there. Okay, I'm gonna have my first rest. It's a long way up. Okay, we're having a little rest. Has anybody got a cigarette? Almost die doing it. But yeah, he inspired me to, you know, just drive off the road or some sometimes, you know, and just just take a breather and enjoy enjoy the surroundings. And especially when you're in an area like this, man, it's just a little bit from another planet here. 
man. And this is also Turkey. Man, Turkey has absolutely surprised me so much. Look at these fish farms over there. Where are you now? Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> you don't need an off-road bike or off-road tires to do stuff like that. Anyone can just go a little bit off the road and you see cool stuff. And the road, man, <laughs> so cool. Wow, <laughs> look at that castle, man. This is incredible. Isn't that insane? I just had to stop and show you. Wow. How cool is that? <laughs> wow. Climbing again. 2,500 meters. <laughs> wow. Chewing through the battery. Oh. Okay, it's going to be a long climb. The trucks are struggling. Wow! Crazy! Wow! Now we're going down! So far I'm like eight kilometers short, <laughs> but it was so windy the whole time, wind from the front. I need to get myself a truck like that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just wait here until the truck comes and I'll just latch onto the truck and I'll make it easily. But hey, uh, what, what an such a fantastic scenery, man. I haven't seen anything like it before. It's, it's really, it's crazy. There we go. Let's go. Police checks again. This one? Okay. Hello? Hi. Okay. All good? <laughs> All right. Man. Fields. So strange, all this police stuff.
Oh, look at that car. Man. Totally different world. Already. Wow. I definitely won't be able to film stuff like that in uh, Iran. I really have to be careful what I'm filming, what I'm doing. Is he gonna fit? <laughs> Whoa. Man, what a ride, guys. What a ride. Ooh, made it. Six percent battery left. That have been two two hundred and three kilometers. Three kilometers to go. Yeah, that that ride felt different, man. There in the in the mountains. Oh man, with all the military and all. What I did notice, there were a few gas stations with uh, DC chargers. I saw, I think I saw two, they had DC, uh, DC chargers. That's so cool actually. But yeah, doesn't help me much. <laughs> but I'm sure I, I'll find a way to charge at the hotel. Okay, this is the hotel I found. Not quite sure how I would be able to charge here. Uh. Tiny elevator again. I have a room now, but uh, no way of charging yet. Figured out. So this is the room. Uh, small, but cool. I was already thinking. I don't know if that opened. No, that's. A... <laughs> to put the cable out here, down there. I know, the cable probably wouldn't be long enough, but yeah, the boss is coming and uh, we'll figure something out. I get the cable ready, it's going to be fine. Yeah, we all knew this is going to be challenging and now the adventure begins. They must have like a back entrance or something where I can plug in, but otherwise uh, it's going to be tough. Shit. We're charging, <laughs> yes. Oh man, so cool. Oh. Oh. Cities, hey, cities. In the city, everything is a little bit more difficult. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do some work now and uh, sort myself out a little bit. And uh, I'll check back later, but <laughs> The, the shop is actually closing in 30 minutes, but they have a little hole in the window where we put through the cable and uh, so I can charge the whole night or at least like a few hours. Uh, let's see, let's see. But uh, I'm pretty positive tomorrow I'll be going to Iran with 100% battery. So good. <laughs>
In this vlog, I'm always super honest to you guys and uh, telling you everything, all my thoughts and everything and doing a lot of research the whole night and reading some comments uh, I must say I'm scared shitless right now Accused of taking photos of areas forbidden to the public and sentenced to eight years for espionage You know, I just, I just want to travel, you know I'm, I'm just, I, I just want to go from A to B and see cool places but that's all, that's all I want to do. And yeah, right now I'm like, <laughs> man, I hope this was the right decision. I have everything, visa, but still, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even sure if I can, if they let me in with with that motorcycle because of the origin of the bike. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know, really. I, I don't know. I, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous, and I'm so glad I'm meeting. The agent from from Overland to Iran there, uh, Overland to Iran there, and and he's gonna help me out for sure. I'm sure we'll be fine, but I, I don't know how I'm gonna film, how I'm gonna make this vlog there. I don't know. I, I don't want to get in trouble, you know. I just want to be. I just want to travel. I just want to go to New Zealand. That's all. I want to see the country, and I hope everything is gonna be all right. But reading all the stuff online and the comments and I'm really out of my comfort zone here like super out of my comfort zone but he's fully charged that's the main thing right now right guys right over there somewhere is the border to Iran and I'm gonna put away all my cameras for now uh, I'm not gonna film anything at the border uh, for obvious reasons and uh, I actually I'm not sure if I'm gonna post any videos once I'm as long as uh, as long as I'm in Iran just you know for my my own safety and for my own well-being I hope you understand I might do some updates for for the members of the channel and for my patrons might post some updates there but uh, yeah for now I, I guess that is a goodbye for a while and I, I hope you guys stay tuned subscribe to the channel I promise I capture some awesome footage for you and uh, it's, it's going to be all right but uh, from now on goodbye and and I'm sure everything will be all right don't 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 worry about me I'll, I'll be I'll be fine Eve's going to be fine we will be all right and see you soon I guess